Hi all, today my plan is to show you the basics of radar plotting uh, because radar plotting is an essential skill that you need to acquire with practice. Uh, so I know you guys are sailing with uh, RPAS on ships these days and RPAS can get you the same information that you get from the uh, radar plotting in seconds but uh, this is still taught in uh, colleges and schools and you need to learn this uh, and also pass in the exam all right so let's get started with the basics of radar plotting and then i hope to take up uh, specific numerical examples and we'll solve it together so that you get an idea of uh, how to do it uh, so radar plotting is mainly used to obtain uh, firstly the cpa and the tcp of targets CPA stands for closest point of approach and TCPA stands for time to closest point of approach and it is also used to get the course and speed of the target. So of course uh, when you are at sea and uh, if you know all this information, if you know the course and speed of the target and you know the CP and TCP of the target then you have a good idea of how far or close you will be passing to the target and in what time you will be passing to the target and whether it is safe for your ship to do so or not. Alright, so without further ado, let me start off with showing you the plotting and for that of course you will be needing a plotting sheet and I will be using my plotting sheet here. Uh, I know the orientation is a bit off but to show you guys, uh, to explain it to you guys, I will assume that uh, this is in the orientation of 000, this is 180 degrees and this is 270 degrees and this is 090 degrees. All right, so this is what because it, this is like like in a landscape format, so I have uh, I have to make it in portrait format so that, so that you guys know what is going on here. And what I'll do is I'll start off uh, with using a scale of uh, one centimeter equals to one nautical mile. All right, so this is will be my scale. This is the scale I'll be using. And uh, let's get started. Let's not waste any more time. So let's assume that if you see a target. Uh, you have now noting down the information related to it. So let's say you took uh, a bearing at 12 o'clock, 1200 hours, and uh, the bearing of the target was, uh, or the range of the target was at about uh, 6 nautical miles, and uh, the bearing was, let's say, 0, 060 0 degrees. All right, uh, so let's plot this first. Let's plot the first observation so assuming that of course 000 is where i have shown you let me show you where is 060 so 10 20 30 40 50 60 so this will be about 060 degrees and this will be 050 degrees All right so 060 scale is one centimeter equal one nautical mile and uh, i am six miles away from the target so i will be somewhere I will be somewhere here if I'm not wrong I will be somewhere so let me just yes, this and create some space for myself so 10 20 30 40 50 60 this is 0 6 0 degrees and this is 0 5 0 degrees so I will draw it in the direction of 0 6 0 degrees and this is my first observation will be here all right, and I will call this O. That's my first observation. And then let's say in subsequent time you obtain two more observations, say at about 12.06 and 12.12. And that time the range of the target reduced to 5 nautical miles and 4 nautical miles respectively. The bearing changed from 0.59 degrees and to 0.57 degrees. Now remember of course at sea you don't wait for the ship to get so close you don't wait for the target to get so close uh, you will start at a much earlier time uh, but this is just an example so don't worry about it so let's plot the other two bearings as well so let's say we are uh, at 12 or 6 we are 0 5 9 and 5 centimeters away is that right 5 uh, nautical miles away so 0 5 9 5 nautical miles so i will be somewhere Two, three, four, five. I'll be somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere here. And zero five seven four nautical miles. So zero five seven and four nautical miles. Let's see where will I be. One, two, three, four. I'll be somewhere here. Alright. 
and this point I'll call A. So my first observation I call it O and my last observation I call it A. And now what I have to do is basically join this line together to make sure that I can join all these three dots together in the best possible way. And I will try my best here. So this is how I will draw it. I will draw a straight line which joins all the three dots and that also passes the center of the radar plotting sheet. Alright, so plot these on the radar sheet, plotting sheet and extend the line joining all the three points to the best possible way and uh, this becomes then the line of a relative approach of the target towards your vessel. Uh, here of course you have assumed that your vessel is at the center of the plotting sheet. Alright, from this line of approach you can find out the CPA first, the closest point of approach. This is a distance of course. So what you do is, for that just draw a line perpendicular to the line of approach and measure the distance of this line using the scale that you have used. So I have used the scale 1 cm equal 1 nautical mile. What I will do is, I will draw a perpendicular line. So how can you draw a perpendicular line? Basically, remember to draw a line parallel to the line of approach at the center here first. Alright, this is a line parallel to the uh, line of approach. Then put your protractor here, put your D here, the D here and measure 90 degrees from here. Alright, so I'll do that and you guys can do that as well. So what I'll do is I'll draw it here and this is my line of approach. This is my perpendicular line. Alright, and uh, this is the line perpendicular and I will call this point C. Okay, now I'll measure this short distance. This short distance that I measured is about 0.5 centimeters. So this distance I am getting is as 0.5 centimeters, which in my scale is equal to 0.5 nautical miles. So that means this ship will be passing only at about 0.5 nautical miles of a distance from me. So this is my CPA. So this becomes my CPA, 0.5 nautical miles. All right, so this is one part done. So I will erase it so that it's not too much data for you guys. Uh, you can go back and see it again. Now I'm trying to find out my TCPA. That is time to the closest point of approach. So how can I do that? Well, basically you have to remember that it took you 12 minutes from 12 o'clock to 12.12 12 to travel distance from OA. So OA took you 12 minutes from 12 o'clock to 12.12, 12, right? So if you measure the distance AC now, measure AC, how much time should it take you to come to this point here? So if I measure AC, I get about 4 nautical miles, so 4 centimeters, which is equal to 4 nautical miles for my scale. That's AC for me. Alright, and then uh, OA, OA is about 2 nautical miles for me. So OA equals 2 nautical miles. So then I will use the basic principle of mathematics. How do I do that? So I know that I traveled 2 nautical miles, that is OA, in 12 minutes. So how much time should it take me to travel AC, which is equal to 4 nautical miles? So common sense says that it should take me 24 minutes, right? 24 minutes from A. So A was 12-12. So I will be at C after 24 minutes. So 12, 12 plus 24 minutes is 12, 36. So I will be at C or the target will close, reach to me at 12, 36 hours. That will be my TCPA. So TCPA is time to approach. That will be 24 minutes. This is TCPA. If you want to know the exact time at which the target will be passing you, you have to add 24 minutes to the last observation that is A, 12, 12 and you will know your exact time at which the target will be passing. Alright, so this is the second part done. Now we can use this approach line of a relative approach to find out our uh, or rather the targets course and speed. So I will for do that, I will erase the rest of the stuff so that you guys don't think it's too cluttered, it's too busy, otherwise we'll get confused. All right. So let's assume here that uh, I will use a blue pen, it's better. 
so let's assume that uh, the target uh, the my my course so my own ship's course is 0 5, 5 and uh, my speed is about 12 knots so my course is own ship course own ship course is say about 0 4 5 degrees and speed own ship speed is 12 knots per hour all right so what we'll be doing is we'll be drawing a vector for 12 minutes because uh, this line here oa is for 12 minutes so first you have to calculate what will be your speed in 12 minutes if you are doing 12 knots per hour how much speed will you do in 12 minutes so that's 12 by 60 multiplied by 12 right so 144 by 60 i need to calculate it i think it's 2.4 if i'm not wrong that's right so 2.4 nautical miles so you will travel 2.4 nautical miles in 12 minutes so what you do is you draw your own ship course first 045 degrees and you draw it for 2.4 nautical miles so how do you do that so 10 20 30 40 45 is somewhere here and what i'll do is uh, i'll draw it in such a way so this becomes 045 okay this is so i'll i'll name it w so w o is my course and speed and w o should be equal to 2.4 nautical miles so 2.4 centimeters going by my scale so about here and then what i'll do is i'll draw i'll join these two lines here and join these two lines all right and i'll call this point w so w o is my uh, own course and and of course the distance traveled in 12 minutes now w a becomes the course and speed of the target vessel so w a w a here is the course and speed of target vessel but remember this speed is that you calculate is for 12 minutes you have to convert it into one hour speed so whatever distance you calculate w a is only for 12 minutes all right so let me show you what is what do i mean here so 12 so let's get the course first all right so my course the course of the target will be w a going from w towards a which is about coming somewhere here this is about 330 i think uh, 350 40 335 so this course is w a is the course is 335 degrees from w towards a 335 degrees two is the course of the target and the speed of the target so let's measure w a first so w a is coming as 1.2 nautical mile so 1 w a is equal to 1.2 nautical mile but this is in 12 minutes so for 60 minutes you will multiply 1.2 by 5 which is equal to 6 nautical miles so speed of the target is 6 nautical miles because wa is only for 12 minutes so 12 by 5 is 60 minutes that's why i took the distance wa and multiplied by 5 so 1.2 is in 12 minutes so for 60 minutes it will be 1.2 by 5 that is 6 nautical miles that is the speed of the target all right uh, then another thing that you can get from here is the aspect of the target all right so firstly you must know what is the aspect so before i explain the aspect to you let me just delete all this stuff to you because this is becoming very cluttered so aspect of the target if you know is the relative aspect of a vessel the aspect of a vessel is the relative bearing of your own vessel from the target vessel so you have a true course and you have a true bearing but aspect gives you the relative bearing with respect to your course and the course of the target all right let me show you what do i mean so to calculate the aspect of the vessel what you do is basically you can just extend this line w a i will extend this line w a further so this is your bearing sorry about that so 12 2.4 this was about here 
2.4 let me just delete this and draw it again 2.4 is here and I will draw WA here so just extend WA go this way all right and join a with the center of the plotting sheet a with the center of the plotting sheet all right so what you get here this this angle here is the aspect of the target so this is basically aspect is nothing but what did i say aspect is the relative bearing of your own vessel from the target vessel all right so for example if this is true north all right now let's say this is zero three zero degrees all right this is where your vessel is going vessel is going at zero three zero degrees all right and there is a target at i will use a different pen 070 degrees there is a target all right so the true bearing of the target will be of course true bearing will be 070 degrees but the relative bearing of your own vessel from the target will be this angle here this is your relative bearing So this is what you can calculate also so you can calculate your aspect as well all right so once you can draw that the aspect of the vessel is written as 0 to 180 degrees uh, depending on red or green whether it's a port side or starboard side so if you are able to see the red light of the target vessel then the aspect will be red and the value will be anything from 0 degrees to 180 degrees if you can see the green light then the aspect will be starboard or rather green and the value will again be anything between 0 to 180 degrees all right so i will cover all this uh, later as well i thought today i'll just show you the basics of the plotting so this angle here will give you the aspect of the target so today we learned how to calculate the uh, cpa time to cpa course and speed of the target as well as how to get the aspect of the target I'll take up more examples otherwise this video is becoming too long now and I have to go slow if I go fast then you guys will not understand anything so let me take up few examples in the future videos and I'll stop the video here all the best thanks guys